As you can see, body harnesses come in uh, many different colors, different sizes, different shapes. Some are more elaborate than others, but it all comes down to one basic concept. You have to make sure that they fit you right. If they don't fit right, they're going to hurt you. So we go through and we, we find ourselves a nice, convenient, colorful harness here. And we're going to look at it and we're going to inspect it. We're going to make sure that everything's functional. Your straps are intact, your ribbons, they're not stretched, they're not torn, they're not damaged. But what we're talking about today is making sure they fit. Want to make sure you put them on correctly. Upper half, lower half. Certain manufacturers will go ahead and they'll color code them for you. That doesn't mean everybody does. This particular harness, got my D-ring for the center of my back, two shoulder straps. Personal preference. You can size these up as you please. But as I've found through experience, usually it's best to start with sizing the lower half. Once you've got the seat and the length of the harness set correctly, it's much easier to adapt the upper half and to make sure that your shoulders are fit right. So what you want to do is make sure that this seat, the lower half here, needs to be cupping you, kind of like a chair. You want something you can sit in. This is going to be holding the majority of the weight if you're hanging. You need to make sure right up under your butt cheeks, tight and underneath. That's where you want it to be. Next important thing is to make sure that the leg straps are tight. We're not talking about cutting off circulation. We're talking about making sure that they're going to support your weight and distribute it across the entire body if you do have a fall. Very important factor, make sure that the straps are flat. If they're twisted, it's not going to be friendly. Make sure that the straps are flat. Pull them right up into the joint. We've all got things we want to protect there, but if it's not tight, it's definitely not going to protect you. Find your buckle. However it happens to fit on that particular model, some have a quick connect, some don't. As you can see, this is nice and loose. This is not what I want. Nothing hanging down. If you do have a fall, that's going to come up with an extreme force and it's not going to be friendly. So go ahead and adjust your strap down. Each type will have a different adjustment. Just adjust it down. Pull it tight. What you want is no more than your own four fingers to fit in there. If it's that tight, you're probably safe. If you can fit your whole fist in there, it's still too loose. Pull it in just a little bit more. We're not making sure that this is as comfortable as possible. We're making sure that it's safe for you. Go ahead, pull it in just a little bit more. Control your straps. Don't leave them hanging down. Just like long sleeves or long hair, they'll get you in trouble. We got one in, four fingers. That's it. All right, continue to the other side. Same thing, make sure your straps are flat. Bring it around. Set it up. Buckles in. Center up. Some of these are a little more difficult than others. Or they're uncooperative. The idea being you want to protect yourself. You're not there to just look pretty. There again, four fingers. Control the strap. Now. You've got the bottom seated in the appropriate place. You want the joints right at your hip joint. You want this strap up tight under your butt. When you're hanging, this is where your weight's going to be supported from. You don't want it loose. Now you can adjust the upper half. Notice it's kind of loose here. So, start adjusting your buckles up. Same thing as ever. Different manufacturers will have different methods. Like I said, the quick clips, you may have to read the manual.
Same thing as the lower straps. You want them tight. You want them taut. You want them to support. And as always, control the straps. Don't leave them hanging out. Now we come to one of the important factors, the chest strap. Those of us that are female or maybe some gentlemen who have more girth than others often will have problems with putting a chest strap directly across the nipple line. The important factor is that this is what's keeping your shoulder straps from coming open. You definitely don't want that. So you want it high on your chest, but not under your chin. When this D-ring pulls up, if it's too high, it's going to choke you. If it's too low, straps are going to come open. Either is probably not a good idea. Let's go ahead and get them tight. Different designs will suit in different ways. But here we go. You've got one hand space in here. You're nice and tight. You're not hanging free. you got good support. This is what you're looking for. My name is Tina Crum. I've been a member of Operating Engineers Local 501 since 1989. I'm a graduated apprentice and I'm currently clowning around at the Circus Circus in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> <laughs>